Well, my novel, The Uses of Enchantment, is probably my most autobiographical novel, even though um, I was not as a child um, abducted, nor was I fake abducted. Um, I didn't go to a therapist and lie about my experience, and no book was written about me. Um, that said, I grew up in Portland, Maine, and uh, I was an adolescent in the sort of late 70s, early 80s. And our, we lived in a very creepy Victorian house that backed up to a cemetery. And so this cemetery sort of was this focal point of our childhood. Um, and lots of, lots of strange things went on there. There were always these lurking men. And we would find, um, as my character in the book finds, these um, partial pornographic novels in the uh, in the grass, and so it was like this, you know, perfect sex death nexus for um, a young kid, uh, and uh, and and all sorts of uh, like people were raped there. I mean, it was really quite a sort of dangerous, terrible place, and yet somehow we were always allowed to play there. It was very mysterious to me, and um, and it, and I guess I was trying to capture a bit that that strange sort of. Um, like New England kind of denial of danger. Like there was all this like very real menace all around us and yet we were just allowed to kind of run through the cemetery and play there. Um, and so my character in the same way, I guess, is sort of trying to grapple with that uh, sort of freedom that she has and these temptations um, that she has. And, and by temptations, I guess, I was really trying to capture that sort of pre-adolescent, adolescent girl um, obsession with self-destruction, um, which is why I think girls are really fixated on books um, that have these very sort of um, tragic uh, main characters like Anne Frank, for example, or Go Ask Alice, or even when I was older, the, the Dora, Freud's Dora story, which, is, which plays um, very significantly in this novel. Um, and, and Sybil, that's the other sort of famous book that, that, this, uh, that I rely on. So it's these women who have these horrible lives and have had these horrible experiences, and yet I would say a certain obviously privileged and, and um, very comfortable uh, adolescent is yet very taken with, um, with becoming special um, through this sort of self-destructive fantasy.